How dare you speak as if I was less than you? How dare you speak as if I was beneath you? This is not 1492. This is not 1492. You are not Christopher Columbus. I am not semi-precious cargo in the bowel of a slave ship cast among bowels saturated bodies packed tightly together like tin tuna fish soaked in your feces and urine. Yours and mine intertwined into a septic wooden grave rat infested chambers that even the lowest of your henchmen would wrench violently at the stench. How dare you look down on me as if for a moment you could fathom a mile, a ten yards, an inch walked in my shoes, ancestral screams coursed through my veins, disemboweled by a severe allergy to lynching. My reaction leaves me with tongue, swollen eyes, bulging, and my neck breaks out in blistering sores. My mother nursed you on her tit because you were better than her own flesh and blood. My father hoisted on a cross, whipped within a strand of his breath between life and death. The depth of every lash will inch my mother making her bitter will inch my brother saturating his mind with fear. How dare you claim to understand with hand pressed dramatically against your chest and an upside down plastic smile lathering your pink lips something vulnerable. Oh. <laughs> You may have, you may have suffered without the luxury of having hot water running freely through pipes when you volunteered, but imagine never knowing when any water will flow. Imagine two, three months without water to cook, clean, or wash with. Imagine a year-long drought that rots everyone with enough anger and fear that they become desperate enough to feed their children seasoned mud pies just to appease the grumbling in their little bellies. How dare you look down on me as if I do not belong? Have you not heard the words of this poem? You and I's bloodlines intertwined so much you cannot pick out the strands different from the other, fused together, this melting pot melding us into one single nation. It's time to come back home, my brothers and sisters. It's time to see yourself for who you really are. It is time. We welcome you.